Hello internet, on today's show we get new trailers for John Wick Chapter 2 that gives us a reunion none of us realised we wanted until it happened and we also get a first look at the all new Power Rangers movie. It looks fine. All that on today's Not News. First up on the show, Keanu is back. No, not that Keanu. This Keanu. Well, yeah, but I mean, yeah, this Keanu. That's better. That's right, Reeves is back for a second instalment featuring the widowed dog-loving assassin John Wick in a trailer that promises even more roly-poly gunplay than before. The movie, which takes place just four days after the first one, which wasn't really a problem for the filmmakers as Keanu doesn't really seem to age all that much, is set to feature a whole host of new assassins for John to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, including rapper-slash-actor Common and millennial darling Ruby Rose. All of these deadly encounters will see John's character eventually come face-to-face -face with the villain shrouded in mystery and currently only thus far known as the Bowler King, played by none other than Morpheus himself, Larry Fishburne, that's right Neo and Morpheus reunite in this sequel to what has, let's be honest, become a beloved cult classic and judging by the trailer, this thing looks like it's going to be oodles of fun. What I love about these John Wick movies is that they're like the Jason Bourne films but without all of the repetitive on the nose government conspiracy nonsense and they don't take themselves nearly as seriously but still manage to resonate in a way that's meaningful to the zeitgeist. John Wick Chapter 2 is set for release February 10th, 2017. Next up on the show, Lionsgate continue their public nerd splooge fest with the release of a trailer for the upcoming Power Rangers reboot movie. The movie, which is based on the origin story of the original Rangers, sees an all new cast take on the iconic roles in what looks to be Power Rangers by way of Twilight, by way of Chronicle, by way of every superhero origin movie ever. And that's not to say that it looks bad by any means, in fact, the new quote unquote grounded take on the series actually looks quite refreshing and the trailer is pretty darn stylish and well put together even if we don't get to see anything approaching franchise iconography until the very end. My issue with the trailer is that once bitten twice shy in that it feels very similar to what Fox did with Fantastic and we all know how that turned out. The advantage for Power Rangers however is that if I'm being honest I'm not really all that invested in this movie and so if it turns out to be garbage I'm unlikely to really give a shit. I mean I loved Power Rangers as a kid but it's not a franchise that I bear any reverence. Saying that though I'm always up for a fun movie and so here's hoping that this one avoids the pitfalls of Fans 4 stick and doesn't take itself super seriously. If it leans into its campy roots it could just be something worth seeing. Power Rangers is set for release March 24th 2017. And that's it for this episode of Not News, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it you can hit that like button down below and if you didn't you can hit the dislike button right next to it. If you want to stay up to date with the channel's content then you can hit the subscribe button in the centre of your screen. I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you again soon. Bye.